Hey y'all, Kentucky Farmer here, and today we are back on the Westbridge Hills map. This is my test game for my fifth video about course play. In this video, we're going to talk about the combine mode. If you're new to course play and you missed the first four videos, you might want to go back and start from the beginning. There's a link in the description of my course play tutorial playlist. In the last video, we covered grain transport mode. Today, we're going to talk about combine mode, which, like the grain transport mode, can be used to move grain from the field to the farm silo. But the main difference is that while in this mode, the vehicle will actually go to the harvester in the field and unload it. Once full, it will then drive the course and empty at the silo or bunker, and then return to the field to repeat the course. To get started, we're going to grab a tractor and a tipper, and then head up to field 15 where we've already got a combine working. Alright, as you can see, our combine has gotten its first pass done here. So we're just going to pull just inside the field. We're going to open up course play. And click start course recording. Now we're going to want to adhere to the three waypoint rule. We want to get three waypoints before we do any turning. Alright, there's our third waypoint. So from here I can actually pull out of the field. We're going to drive down into our farm. And like the grain transport mode, it's important that all of your routes approach this from the same direction in case you've got multiple routes running at the same time. So I always come from the inside of the farm heading out. And since we don't have any grain in us currently, we're just going to drive right over it. Come back out here to the road and head back up the hill. Apparently I should have bought the bigger JBC, or JCB for this. Alright, now we're going to make our turn. Head back to the field. come within uh, about 10 meters of our start point and we're going to hit stop. And now we're going to go ahead and save this route as come by mode and then I'm going to put it in my field 15 folder. Alright, so now if we come in here we can load that route. And this sort of route starts at the finish. So what we're actually going to want to do is back up a little bit so we get past the that blue line. And then we can tell it to drive at the nearest waypoint. If we told it to drive at the first waypoint the tractor would actually drive empty all the way down to the farm and back up here again before going to the combine. Uh, if we check our... Uh, we need to put it in combine mode. And then if we check our settings, our offsets are all set to auto, our turning circles auto 7 meters. Start at 50%, drive on at 90%. Uh, drive on means that if the, say for example this is getting filled by the combine, and the combine is full and this stops unloading it, if it's over 90% in the trailer when it stops, it will then continue its loop and go back to the farm and empty. Uh, now we've got our 
this this tab here is the manage combines tab and it's set to automatic search this is fine because we started and stopped the course inside the field so because this is inside of the field it will automatically find the combine working in this field if we built this course out here in the grass we would then have to select the combine that we want it to go unload so it doesn't see one right now because it's not actually driving the course so we're going to drive the course and we'll switch back over here and it may take a second for it to finally register but if we just wait for it it'll eventually pick up the axle flow there it is and now it's just going to drive over to it and unload it uh, we'll go ahead and follow this for a while and I'll just fast forward the video so that it is a little bit quicker to watch uh, one thing I will point out is that we could probably stand to dial up the speed if you see we're doing 14 this JCB can do a lot better than 14 so let's go ahead and put it up at 25 All right, if you notice there, the uh, tractor pulled back behind the combine. It does that automatically to try and keep itself out of the way of any potential traffic. It will just wait here now until the combine is full again, and then it will go empty it. It looks like we'll be able to take three loads out of the combine before this drives back to the farm. Here's a good example of why the tractor moves to follow back behind the combine after it's done filling. If it would have stayed there, it would be in the way of the combine when it comes back on the next course. As you can see, the tractor is starting to head back to the start of the course. It's not 100% full, but based on our settings, it is over 90% full, so it's going to go ahead and drive on and go empty. So it goes down and it intercepts the second point of the course and then begins following the course.
Oop. Looks like we might have our speed set a little bit too high for this. It's uh, too much weight for that small of a tractor. the notification at the bottom the tip trigger has been reached that means that course play sees the trigger now that it's reached it it's automatically unloading and now it's going to drive back up Okay, so that concludes the fifth video of my course play series. In the next video in this series, I will cover the overloader mode. If you're interested in trying out course play, I'll put a link in the description below to the mod website. Hopefully you found this video useful. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave them below. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more, be sure to click the like button and subscribe for more Farming Simulator videos. I'm Kentucky Farmer, thanks for watching.